Okay, well, I'm just calling this fire in the hole here. This is um, more work with this uh, Slayer Exciter and this um, RFID tag that I don't know why this is working like it is, but I think part of it has to do with this prototype block. I tried uh, doing it today in other ways and this was the only way that it really worked well was on that prototype block. So the antenna might part of the prototype block, but it really worked good, better than a regular just AV plug. Now, what I've got going on here is it's a coil out of one of those Tesla coil kits. They're real cheap. If you buy them in a kit form, they're under $10. And uh, I just took the coil and I just used a regular Slayer Exciter circuit. And that's the, uh, you can find this online. I made a couple of changes here with the, uh, this isn't quite right. And I uh, used a different brand of transistor, but they all pretty much work. Uh, 10K is fine for that. And then I just went to a 3.7 uh, battery, 1865 battery, and uh, the LED and stuff. And, and uh, that worked really good. And this is one of those um, neon flicker flame bulbs. And it's not attached at all. And there's the exciter running. You just set this thing on there, and there's fire in a hole. <laughs> I got a big kick out of that today when I saw that thing light up. Uh, it does the uh, the usual uh, AV plug thing, wireless. But I really like what I'm seeing here because it it works from quite a distance away. And the uh, top load, which is that bulb, is uh, important for the distance of the uh, field. Uh, it's a capacitive link-up is what it is. It's not induction, it's capacitive link-up. If you've studied Tesla coils, you understand what, what's going on here. Is The whole environment around this thing is charged. And it sets up a linkage uh, basically to ground through a capacitive link-up. And uh, I'm using that uh, two diodes, uh, one in 914 diodes, which are, are switching diodes to create the AV plug or Averminkel plug. And then uh, down there, the indicator light is the LED. And I put another one in 914 um, right in there. And this came from Dr. Stifler. The uh, SEC exciters used that diode in there. And uh, when I was working with the Slayer Exciter, I just exchanged the 1N914 to an LED as an indicator. And that's how that LED ended up in that circuit. But it really uh, it works better if you have another diode with it, which is right there. Um, extremely simple, guys, uh, to make one of these things up. But um, spend some bucks and try to get one of those kits and use that coil. That's a really good coil to use with a one of these mini Slayer exciters and uh, they call them mini Tesla coils but uh, pretty neat stuff thanks for watching